Hello, hello! Welcome to the third and final Vlogmas. I hope you've enjoyed the past two videos so far that I've uploaded in December. I'm so excited to end off the year with this video. I have all the clothes that I kind of picked out recently and also some accessories that I will be sharing with you guys today and I hope you enjoy watching this video. Some of these pieces you might have already seen on my Instagram. Um, I have already worn and styled some of them but I decided to kind of throw them into this final haul of the year. Without further ado, let's get started. We'll start off with the t-shirts. I got two. This is the first piece that I got. This is just a very comfy, soft t-shirt from Pull and Bear. It says Astral Dreams on the front and also has a little sun logo and it's just a simple casual tee that you can throw on on a weekend or you know just um, after work or if you're working from home a comfy t-shirt is definitely a must-have. I actually also really love this olive green color. I think it'll be you know pretty easy to style with white or yellow you know pastel yellow bottoms and yeah I think it'll be pretty cute. So this is my first piece. I got it in a size M. And the second piece is also a t-shirt but it is a cropped boyfriend cut. This is from Cotton On and I just noticed that I, this one also has like a sun emblem in the middle and I already have another t-shirt from Gunda Clothing that also has a sun in the middle. Um, I just love the sun I guess. This is just a light brown neutral top that you can wear with denim, you can wear with pants. There are a lot of ways to style a simple t-shirt like this and I love that it is kind of cropped and I won't have to worry about having excess fabric um, you know being tucked in. I think I got this in like one of the big oh this is actually a size XS but you can see that it's really oversized. It'll be a pretty nice and cooling for the hotter weather that's to come. Moving on to some of the other tops I got. I got a very simple cute nude crop top. You might have seen me wear this in my last video and I paired it with some brown pants and I think it looks so good because when you're wearing something a little bit more baggy or flowy down the bottom I think something tighter will be a good balance. You can also double up as like a inner tank when you want to wear something maybe a little bit more low cut or like as an inner piece to be layered with a cardigan. I think that would look really cute. I I feel like racer cuts really just flatter my kind of body shape. I don't know, but I feel like wearing a racer cut really shows off like my collarbone and everything really nicely. So this piece is from another local brand. It's called the Tinsel Rack. This is a pastel green color. Um, it's really nice soothing color that goes with pretty much everything. It's a very simple, very comfy, stretchy fabric. I got it in a size M and yeah, it's just something that you can throw on easily and just wear around the house or if you're going out. And the final crop top of my haul is this little floral knit piece. It's a pastel yellow. It's kind of embroidered with little flowers all through the front and it has a cable knit design all around which I think is a really cute touch. You would usually associate knit and you know cozy pieces with winter or autumn and I love that it's on like a summery piece. If you chance upon something like this I definitely recommend. So the next piece is also from Cotton On. It is another one of these cute Polo. I just love this cutting. I think it's super flattering. I love that it has the collars and then it's a full button down shirt so the buttons are functional and it is again in my favorite pastel yellow shade. Uh, I haven't worn this yet but I'm so keen to wear it. I always go for versatile pieces so that you know you can wear them for years and years. A lot of my clothes I've had for more than five years and I still wear them. I still style them in different ways with different pieces. Yeah something like this will be always trendy and always a classic. Because I love the polo cut so much I also got another one but in white. This one is not from Cotton On actually. This one is a little bit different. If you look at the button details, it kind of just go goes down halfway, which is also pretty unique. Something like this again, never goes out of style. I love the knit material. Yeah, I just can't wait to style this piece. Finally, my last top is 
another one from the editor's market i absolutely adore this piece it's a little bit different from the usual collared top that i have i think maybe because of the deeper neckline and how structured it is it actually fits really nicely on my body i also recently picked this up so i haven't had the chance to wear this out yet but i am already so <laughs> excited to and this brown color is the perfect addition to my um, neutral wardrobe situation that's happening right now and i got this in a size s because i wanted it to be really fitting yeah i love that it, it tapers in a little bit down here on this two sides this is a crop design which is something that i always gravitate towards i always look for pieces that are a little bit more cropped just so that makes it easier when styling because i love to wear high-waisted um, pants so a cropped top would make sense for me. I do have a cardigan top that I wanted to include. I got it from Bershka. I got it on Black Friday. It is such a cute lilac, you know, pastel purple cardigan. It's cropped beautifully because, you know, I love cropped pieces. And this color, I feel like it just, you know, brightens my skin. I already feel like I look so much more alive just with the brighter purple. I got this in a size S because wanted it to be fitting. I could wear this as a top on its own or um, as a layering piece. I think it'll still look really cute. And yeah, moving on to the bottoms, I have four to share. The first one is actually from Forever New. I also picked this up on Black Friday. It's a gorgeous um, pastel yellow <laughs> skirt with um, floral details all over. I love that it cinches up a little bit on the side so that it adds something to an otherwise simple skirt. This will be perfect for January, February, March, spring, summer and it's also perfect for the hot weather in Singapore. I got this in a size 8 which is my usual size. I'm yeah I'm a pretty standard AU8 um, in case you're wondering for reference. I love this piece. Can't wait to wear it. This is actually the only skirt that I got. The others are pants. Um, you guys know I'm so into pants right now. A lot of my outfits are mostly paired with long pants. I don't know, I only discovered how flattering like oversized baggy pants look on me this year. So I'm so glad I've discovered that. And we'll start off with um, something that I've already worn. So these are also from the editor's market. I am a size M. I absolutely love this color. It's a very classic brown. I feel like it's pretty retro. It reminds me of like a vintage outfit, something that you could thrift, but it is from the editor's market. I feel like it is a formal pants, but you could also dress it down to be a casual weekend look, which is what I've been doing, kind of matching more serious bottoms with t-shirts or tops that are a little bit more fun and casual. So even with this top that I'm wearing, it could go pretty cute. The colors just look so good together. <laughs> Since we are on the topic of baggy pants, I got one more recently, and it is kind of like another baggy formal pants but in a grey kind of colour tone. I don't have any grey bottoms and I think because of the colour it's definitely even more formal than the other ones that I already own. Something like this um, would be good for work but also I will pair this with something casual just for the fun of it. So keen, so excited to style this piece. So the last bottom I have are a pair of knitted pants. It's so flattering. Yeah, I feel like it hugs your body nicely and the nude color again goes with a lot of other pieces nicely and it's also very comfortable. I feel like I could sleep in this, go out in this and do everything in this. I got this in a size M. I feel like I, I don't have any other pants quite like this one, so I was pretty excited to pick it up. In this haul, I only have one dress and it is from the editor's market. It is this beautiful white baby doll kind of dress. Um, I love how cottage core this is. I think it will go beautifully with like a head scarf and, and just like a dainty handbag. Um, I think it'll be so cute. And because it's white, I feel like it's a classic. You can't go wrong with a white dress. And yeah, it's pretty simple. Not much design to it. Um, I feel like a simple white piece will really bring out those colorful, funky jewelry and accessories that you have. I almost forgot about this piece but it is iconic. This faux leather blazer, I know, it is incredible and <laughs> that was that was so anticlimactic. This is her in all of her beauty. It is actually kind of like a blazer coat, I guess, um, in a, a faux leather material. It's 
super cozy not ideal for the hot and humid Singapore weather but it will be perfect for an Aussie winter but yeah in the meantime I can only kind of let this exist in my wardrobe. I got in a size S uh, just so that it won't be too overbearing because it's already such a huge piece. I want it to be a little bit more fitted um, in that sense. I just love it so much. <laughs> and now we can move on to the accessories. I'm so excited. We'll start off with my favorite accessory, which is a bucket hat. Ta-da! So it's just like a denim material. It fits my head perfectly. Even though we know Cotton On and Ruby has a lot of cute bucket hats, but some of them just don't fit my huge head, unfortunately. And also, it is extremely practical because of how hot and sunny Singapore can be. Um, even back in Perth, I would wear a bucket hat in the summertime. I would love to see you guys in bucket hats. Please tag me if you do don a bucket hat look. I would love to see what you guys come up with. The rest of my accessories are mainly just bags. A lot of them I actually got in the past few months. So I thought I would throw them into this hole as a cherry on top. Here we have it. Is she not gorgeous? This is again a faux leather piece. It is a very retro brown. I feel like it looks like those, you know, old school leather loafers, those kinds of color. It just reminds me of that. And it has a very solid handle. So it kind of just stays on its own without you having to hold it up, but it is a good size. So this is the first bag. The second shoulder bag that I got is this little plaid piece. I think it's a really cute design. It goes with a lot of plain clothing because of how it's already printed. The size is not too bad. It's not too small. So I can still fit my wallet and also a couple more things. And it's a cute piece to add on to any outfit. And my third recent um, shoulder bag purchase is this black one. It's really lightweight um, and also a good size. It fits, you know, a good amount of things. And because it's black, you know, it's a classic color to go with any outfit. But I think one thing that I didn't like as much about this bag is how long the straps are. This kind of goes down to my waist, but it's still a good piece to have. I still enjoy using it because of how lightweight and also how it can fit a lot of things. My fourth and final, just from the shoulder bag category, is this cute little Barbie and Pomelo collab piece. How gorgeous is this? Like the print, I know could be a little bit loud because of the color and then the word Barbie is like imprinted all over the bag. But I think it's still unique and also really cute. I feel like this length would be perfect. I don't know. I just feel like so fun when I use this bag. So this is the last of the shoulder bags. I also got this really cute bag from Shopee a couple months ago and it is a mesh bag. Um, I don't have anything quite like it, but this is the one and only one that I have and definitely cute for photos. It does fit quite a good amount of things because of how big the space inside is. But because it is translucent, whatever's inside, you will kind of be able to see it peeking through. But yeah, I still love it. It's still a cute purchase. Let me know if you guys like it. Okay, we are on my final piece of this haul and it is this gorgeous bag from Status Anxiety. I think this bag is called the new normal and I think the size is good for a phone, some cards, cash, lip balm. It's really convenient to bring out. You just sling it over your shoulder, put your essential things in there and then you're good to go. I hope you guys love the pieces as much as I did. Um, let me know which piece was your favorite and yeah I hope you enjoyed watching this video and thank you guys so much for all your love and support. I'm so grateful for each and every one of you who watches my video and supports me on Instagram. I am just so thankful for the community that we have and I am always here for you as much as you guys are here for me. I wish you guys a wonderful 2021 ahead. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already and yeah thank you so much for being here and I will see you in the new year bye